So, I'm just doing a little video about my Tetronix scope 2432A, it's quite an old scope These things when they first came out back in the late 80s were $10,000 US apparently <clears throat> I paid $700 a zen for this one used uh, about uh, 8 years ago So, this scope was working fine and I just turned it on a little while ago and the trace faded out and on the front here, just there, that faded out. Everything else is still working. And I smelt, you know, the magic smoke escaping. I smell it. And after pulling it apart, which is quite an involved process, but quite well designed, I found, if I can find it on here, that right there, burnt out. So, this part here. That's where I trace the smell to. Um, I've got to try and trace it where that goes to. Um, I do have a service manual for this, so I need to look into that. But fortunately, that part itself isn't actually marked. It looks like a uh, a jumper, so um, that's probably all it is. But I need to actually look into that. I can't see the part numbers either. The part next to it actually does have some numbers on it, so it might not be that. It might all be a diode or something, or maybe a capacitor. Probably a capacitor because I mean, the end is beveled on one end, so I'm not familiar with that part. I'm going to have to look into that and look at what it is, but it's not actually numbered or marked on the board what it is. So I'm hoping the service manual has that in it. Um, yes. So, jumped on the computer. I do have a copy of the service manual, um, as seen here. I just need to try and find it. It has 568 pages. So it's going to take a little while to skim through that and find and find diagrams. They're probably right at the end somewhere. The index is quite big too, so yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at the diagram, well, the parts layout. And I found that those parts, or well that part which appears to have blown out there, is a capacitor based on the parts layout designations. So it's between U460 and U392, and it's the top part there beneath those three transistors. Come over here. <coughs> and there's U392, there's U460, and there's the transistors. And it says C282 and C284. So 284 is the one which is burnt out. So I need to do some more investigation on that and figure out what the hell that part actually is. So, part there C284, C281, uh, T82, 2.7 UF capacitors, probably tantaliums based on the size. Place them both. Right, so those are the parts I've taken out. There's the burnt one, obviously, and there's the intact one. Which is interesting. Then over here, are the parts I've put in. I only had electrolytics, so just have to do. Right, the board is back together. Um, there's those parts which I replaced right there. So again, I only had uh, electrolytic capacitors. Um, those are actually 3.3 UF, not 2.7 as per the original tantaliums, so they shouldn't be any worse anyway, they should be alright. Um, voltage wise they're fine, the original was a 10 volt, these are much higher voltages, are, I think 25 volt caps. Um, everything's plugged back in again, you have to watch out for this piece here, and routing these cables just there correctly. Everything's plugged in, nice and solid. So. Power's plugged in, turn it on, let's see if it's fixed. Turn it around this way. Okay. All the self tests are passed. Display is working again. Um, so, yay, looks like it's job done.